Good day, viewers. You are welcome to the first episode of the program, Learn Calabari, brought to you by Calabari TV. This is a program where we teach Calabari language. With me here are two books, compiled by Abie Breed. And the first is sponsored by engineer Jacqueline Ritain, founder and president of Belema Oil Producing Limited. While the other is sponsored by Honorable Granville Tekenare Wellington, member River State House of Assembly, Asaratoro Constituency 1. And we're going to start with this book. This book is titled Kalabari Godri. You can like and follow us on all our social media platforms and your all-round support because Calabari TV is always needed. At this juncture, we will get started. But don't forget, if you need a copy of this book, you can call us or call Abie Braid for the copy of this book. I am Dokubo Denson Ikromasoma. So right here, we are using the first book, sponsored by Engineer Jack Stein. As we can see, we have his picture, edited and sponsored. We'll start with greetings in Calabari. Greetings and salutations in Calabari language. We have the singular and we have the plural form. In Garebona, So when you're talking about a singular person, you refer to Yere, singular person, Singular person, Yere. I with a dot under. Y. E. Another dot. Arrow. I. Yere. Singular form of U. And if you want to talk about the plural form, you have omine, as in O, M, O, I with the dot, N, E. If you are pronouncing this, it is inscribed as O, R, O. This is O, M, I, me, and N, E, ne. If you are pronouncing this word in Calabar language, you use this inscription, omine, to pronounce this. This is how you pronounce omine. So, when, whenever you want to greet a singular person, you use this inscription, A, that is to say, in terms of good morning, you will say, A, ba, te. A, ba, te is, is good morning. If you want to greet a pl plural, maybe so many people are sitting down, you want to greet them. In a simba. Obate. Using this word. Or for singular person, ebate. For plural pe person, obate. Now, so many people begin to wonder, how do we greet in Calabari language? Most Calabari greet, greetings or salutations at any time or of the time of, at any time of the day are either questions or likely as affirmations of the position of activity of the individual. If you see somebody and want to greet him in the morning hour, most of our greeting is always by question. When you say a you're already asking the person. Have you seen the dawn of the day? And then the person will reply you, e. If you see somebody sitting down, you look at the condition of the person and then you greet. In, in, in the and all of that. So if somebody is sitting down and you want to greet the person, you say, But for the start, as a younger person, if you are greeting a young, a, an elder person in the morning, and if it's an elderly person, you say, pa, e ba te. 
And then the person will reply. In about a person will, will, will reply you this way. So in, in means yes, and about it means I have seen. The new day. That is the idea. If we go further in the book, the elderly person will also go, go as far as telling you, as in this way, I, the under is always dotted, to have the right pronunciation. Ereso, who is dotted, ebate, and then you that started the beauty will also reply, e, that is, yes. That is for greeting of a good morning. We will now go to the next page where we have welcome. Ibote I B T E which is welcome. And when somebody say Ibote to you, you don't have any other thing to say that is yes thank you in the next place, we have Tobra. Somebody is asking you, how are you, Tobra? Your response is, Ibin. That is, that's the how are you. Fine. You can say ordinarily fine. Or you say Ibim. Emiete. That is fine. Thank you. Minapo. Me and Smith and Smith, bra. He died in Mutebum, Opakam, Okonmamu, Smith Bwanga Bwanga, Ibolate, Ibote, Oipakir. That is welcome. Oipakir, but he, he may say, yes, thank you. Tobra, how are you? Oipakir, but he been, that is fine. Or you can say, Ibim emete, that is fine, thank you. In the plural form, you have Obo, Obote, and then the, the rest one is In emete. That is this means welcome. Ibuta means 
welcome and him and that means yes. Thank you. That's the plural of this. This is for singular, emete, welcome. And this is plural, ibote, welcome, a singular. And this is plural, obote, emete. If we go to the next page, we have begin to wonder how you greet. It is simple. If they are standing in several baby, you quickly say if it is a singular person, singular. Singular person, you say a say where say where and the person will respond. If you're passing, the person will respond. In a bo ra O dotted, I dotted, to get the, the right native pronunciation. Now these things, meaning memonity, You standing, the person will quickly answer yes. Some people may wonder how. I already introduced our greeting as questions and answers. If you want to say good morning, it means that have you seen the dawn of the day? The person will answer you yes. You see the person standing, you say, sir, is there whatever? That is, sir, are you standing? That's what we quickly answer, yes. That is how we greet. It's, all, it's always questions and affirmations. So when we get to plural form of greeting people, per se, they are sitting down, and then you, you are passing. Maybe they are sitting down having fun or discussing something, and you're passing in front of their house. You greet them. Or le the wa re. They will respond in in means. Yes. You greeted them, they are sitting down. If we go to the next page, on the picture we'll see a woman sitting and another woman came to see her and then she's greeting her. What she said to her is simple. You can see the picture on the book. A le de wa le wa i dotted. Please take note of this dot. Dot and name, ma. A and usual, but you cannot have the right pronunciation. You know, our native language is different from the English language. This dot, this sign. 
make us have the right pronunciation of those words. On the next page, we have you are with somebody. You have a friend that visited. You have a brother, a sister, a cousin that visited you. And he's going back. Okay, come on, swear. What will you say to him? In English, you say goodbye. Some people say farewell. But in Calabar, what will you say? I know most of you are wondering now. It is simple. Deinamu. When you say the inner mood, you're telling the best thing, go in peace. Or, farewell. The person will respond quickly. In, my area, area that is to say yeah if the person is sure that you are not going to see again for that day the person say bar area that is to say see you And then, for the last page, if your friend, your mother, your sister, your cousin, Ikeabo, Eminabo, Imbri, Embra, Waribum, after the person must have asked you, Tobra, in the year, Bra, and me, and all of that. The next thing the person will say is, it means that have you eaten? If you have, you say yes. If you haven't, you say no. So in Kalambari, Iefite is spelled this way. I Y E F A T E E Y E Y F E T E And then you answer. Mm. If you've eaten. And then you answer. Uh -uh. The answer is uh -uh, if you've not eaten. So, this is the last part of this episode. We're just going to take a little revision on the things we have learned so far. So far, we learned about the Eyere, Eyere, which is the singular form of you. We learned Omine. We learned Omine. The plural form of you. We also learned how to pronounce it, how it is inscribed. O -ni -ni. That's how you pronounce this. We also explained how we greet in our language. Most Calabari greetings are or salutations at any time of the day. 
are either questions or more like an affirmation of your position or activity. This is also true when we say a bad good morning, which actually means have you seen the breaking of the day or have you seen the downing of the new day? When we went to the next page, we talked about a bad The reply is in. On the next page, we add the response. A. Yeah. Ray. So. A. Yeah. Ray. So. A bate. A yeso a bate. That is you two. Good morning. Babu emiete mm e mi te we went further we went to e bo There, we are the responses. In a minute, a minute. If we go further, we have. Tomara, we are. It is written as "How are you?" The response is "A." E beam. That is to say, I'm fine. Or fine. The next page we have obote, clear form of obote. O b o t e. In the clear we have the responses. In a t e i n a t e means thank you. In the next page, we have a book one. A bo kwani which means how is your health The answer is simply a b. If you are fine, that is fine. 
on the next page, we learn greetings. If you meet somebody on the road, if the person is standing, simply a farewell. A farewell. Where? Again. And the person will respond if you're passing. E. A. Bo. Right. Three. E. A. Bo. Ro. Are. Yes, are you passing by? On the next page, you see people sitting down. You see all le. G. Wa. Rari. And the rest one is E. That is. Are you sitting? E is simply yes. So on the next page we have Dinamu. Dinamu. Which is go in. The next thing we learned was ba, wa, e, re, ya. See you tomorrow. So for the last page, why am I a fit? A have you eaten? If you have. You say, in wishes. Dear viewers, this is all for today on the program, Learn Calabar. You can like and follow us on all our social media networks. And don't also forget to support us on the pushes of the 27 TV diesel generators. I am Dr. Bob Denton, Calabar TV. Goodbye.